In an number of states, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has reaffirmed its readiness to go ahead with the conduct of the 6th of November governorship election. This is despite growing concern of insecurity in the state. To achieve a free and fair election, the Commission sought the cooperation of main stakeholders, political parties, and representatives of civil society organizations in Orca, the state capital. Bamindele Ajayi reports. As the clock towards the November 6th and Ambra State governorship election takes, the rising cases of insecurity still remains fresh in the minds of the residents and eligible voters alike. Recently, INEC facilities were attacked, security operatives killed, and facilities burned in some states in the southeast. But despite the disturbing trend, the electoral body has consistently maintained that the recent on-pass will not deter it from performing its constitutional duty. And at this stakeholders meeting, the commission says it has over 2 million registered voters with 18 participating political parties. What next step for us as a commission? The next step for us is now to, once we have fulfilled this legal requirement, we will go ahead, one, to print uh, the manual copies of this electronic voter register. We must ensure that we have one man, one person, one woman in the register of voters, so that on election day, everybody is allowed to vote more votes, that is, one man, one vote. So that's why we decided to do a little bit of uh, work on our biometrics uh, an system. Elsewhere, members of the Allied People's Movement, APM, in Anambra State have collapsed its entire structure into the All Progressive Congress with the hope to mobilize its members to vote for the later in the election. Our people have shown that they are happy. They've tried PDP before for 16 years. PDP failed us. They've also given Abga chance for almost 16 years. Abga turned out to be the worst. And of course, the only thing that is permanent is change. And today they have decided to switch over to try an alternate party, a national party, and that is the APC. All the political parties are collapsing into APC today. It is something that has never been seen in the history of politics in Anambra State. I am also marveled, I am shocked, I am emotionally down to see what is happening today. Expectations are high on the part of the electorate as well as the government. But political analysts have the view that the elections will be a pointer to the level of preparedness of INEC ahead of the 2023 general elections. Bamidele Ajayi, TVC News, Oka.